Hey guys! So today I'm going to be harvesting Jamaican star apples and I want you to come along. I'm also going to be showing you how to eat star apples and I'm going to be sharing some health benefits of star apples. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Guys, I'm just going to give you an overview of star apples. The star apple tree is native to Central America, but you can find it growing successfully in a range of tropical and near tropical areas. The top of its leaves are glossy and dark green in color, but the underside has a golden bronze color. And for this reason, it is also called the golden leaf tree. It's a part of the Sapotezae family and it can grow anywhere between 25 to 100 feet tall with a trunk of nearly a meter in diameter. In Jamaica, it is either homegrown or it can be seen growing in green spaces or along the roadside organically. The tree produces an exotic fruit called star apple because of the distinct starburst core which is visible when the fruit is cut into half. In Jamaica it's also referred to as the mean fruit because it never falls from the tree. There are two varieties in Jamaica. The green skin has a green skin when young but develops small brown spots when matured and the flesh is clear white. There is also the purple skin which is green in color when young but changes to purple or purple with bits of green when matured. The flesh is red purple and the flesh of both varieties usually surround a few small black seeds. When young both varieties are firm to touch but become soft upon maturity. Star apples can be round or oblate in shape with an average size of a baseball and the skin is usually smooth, glossy and leathery. And the taste is mild, sweet and pleasant. So guys, we're now going to look at um, the nutritive value of star apples. Star apples are extremely nutritious guys. They contain high levels of vitamin A and C and they also have vitamin B1, B2, and B3. In terms of minerals, they're rich in calcium and they have a good amount of phosphorus as well. They also have iron, potassium, magnesium, manganese, and selenium, and the water content is also good. They are rich in dietary fiber, low in fat, low in calories. In terms of the calories of all the tropical fruits that you have out there, they have the lowest amount of calories, believe it or not, yeah. They also have carbs and protein and they also have amino acids. Okay guys, so now we're going to look at the health benefits of star apples. Star apples have numerous health benefits, right? And they're all amazing. For instance, it's an immune system builder. It's rich in antioxidants. Um, it can prevent cardiovascular diseases and it can also prevent anemia. It has anti-inflammatory properties. It can promote weight loss because you know it's high in fiber and fiber causes us to stay full of for longer periods of time which will help to prevent overeating plus it's low in calories and fat. Um, it's excellent for your bones because of the high calcium content and because of the phosphorus content. Um, it's good for your teeth. It's also good for your skin and it's also great for your eyes. They're good for digestive health. It's also good for constipation, again because of the fiber content which can help to regularize bowel movement. It can also help with other digestive issues. And it can help to control blood sugar levels so it's great for diabetics. It can also help to prevent colon cancer. It can even lower bad cholesterol. 
And even though it's low in calories, it's also an energy booster. And there are even more health benefits as well. Okay guys, so now I'm going to take you on a star apple harvest. So what I have in my hand is a stick which we use to harvest the star apples. There is a bamboo stick that is attached to an attachment and the attachment is what is used to um, detach the fruit from the stem. But we have to be very careful because you know the fruit is easily damaged and you can also damage the stem and the, the branch of the tree as well. Another way in which you can harvest the fruit is to climb the tree and hand pick the, the fruit. Um, also, you can have, sometimes you can have branches that are low, but they're not low enough for you to reach them. So you can use like a hook stick to hook the branch and pull it closer to you and then you can hand pick it. In Jamaica, star apples are seasonal. They typically bear between the months of March and June. And um, on property, we have issues with birds. Um, we have to compete with them for the star apples. And I noticed that over the last few years, the bird population has increased. Um, not sure why. Unfortunately, star apples are not like mangoes and nisberries, for example. Um, they need to be harvested when they are fully matured um, because they have inedible sticky white spots of latex on the inside which causes it to stain and in addition to that um, if you should pick star apples before they are fully ripened they are not able to ripen any further and this definitely affects the quality of the star apples you know they're they tend not to be sweet you know um, but you know, we really don't have a choice on property because of the bird situation. If they should get to the star apples before us, they will not leave any for us. They are very selfish. But I guess they have to live too. Um, interestingly, this star apple tree produces both green and purple skin fruits. And I'm not sure if this is typical of star apple trees, but I do know that we have other trees on property but this is the only one that bears both all right so the first thing you need to do is to roll it in the palm of your hands to sort of soften it you can do that for a couple of seconds you don't have to but that's what I usually do. You're going to use a knife and you're going to cut it like this in half. Right. So once that's done, use a spoon to scoop out the flesh around the starburst core and just eat it. it nice <laughs> and then you just um, dispose of the seeds take extra care not to spill the juice or the flesh on your clothes because it can stain them and um, something to note the skin is not edible and neither is the rind I hope you found value in this video and if you did then please click on the link right here which will take you to a page where you will be able to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.